Hello again, welcome to The Ref Show. Ian Dow is on the panel this week, so is uh, Glenn Turner. Well, welcome, gents. Now, only one of us knows what it's like to score a goal, a late winner even, in front of thousands of people in a stadium and millions of people on TV. Glenn, it's not you, no, is it? No, sadly, it's not me. It wasn't me enough, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not me, apart from three men and a dog, but it is you. Uh, yeah. you, you, you you've done it. So yeah. let's start. You know the background. A player got sent off over the weekend for yeah. an over-celebrated second yellow card. It was Raheem Sterling, Manchester City's winner at Bournemouth. You've scored a goal, you know, big, highly charged goal. What does it feel like? Tell us. Let, let me just take you back to... Uh, the Stadium of Light, when, we, when, when I was a Palace manager, okay, yeah. we were in extra time, 2-2, two, two, the second leg of the semi-final, okay, and we were going out at 94th minute, and Darren Powell headed the ball into the net. He jumped straight into the crowd, knocked over a disabled lad. Oh, uh, there, yeah. it, to be fair, a Palace, the Palace crowd, it was at, so our little section of Palace fans, yeah. he jumped over, knocked over... The lad out of his push out of his wheelchair, mm -hmm. and you know what? The lad was celebrating on the what ground. Yeah, it, what he didn't mean to do, which is actually, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. my view is yeah. that's the euphoria yeah. game. You yeah, take yeah, that away, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're going to lose it. Now, I don't see in this instance, he jumped out, of, he, he went into the crowd. You can't condone what goes on, and I understand you have to manage it. My view is, I think he gets it badly wrong, very badly wrong. What, the referee the player, or the player? Right. No, I don't think the player gets it particularly wrong in, in terms of that. I, I think I think the referee... I feel what? a bit for Mike Dean because he's been vilified for, for the decision and, and they, maybe his hands are tied. But I just think... I he, feel... I did, feel just, he just needs before, to understand. Uh, we'll bring Glenn in, mm. but did you ever run into the crowd when you scored big goals in your career? And you did. Yeah. You did? Yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you get caution for it no, when you no, ran no. into the crowd? Never? No. No. So maybe a bit of a, it was, the, the, the law was in then too, wasn't it? About yeah. running into right. the crowd or this, not? This is where I feel really sorry for Mike Dean yeah. because what Mike Dean has been appointed to that game to uphold the laws of the game. And Mike Dean has upheld the laws I, of the game. I agree. And, and we cannot and should not castigate a referee for doing his job. He's right. done his job. Right. I think mm. what we need to look at is the law. I think the law is wrong when you say mm. you have to caution a player for, for going into the crowd. Um, <clears throat> I can't. I, I can't. It, it I can cause not, safety. It can Dino. cause safety it issues. Can, in fairness, it can cause safety issues. Um, to take your shirt off, cause safety issues. Um, no. I was going to come on to that. I'm That's, glad you've said it. I'm yeah. glad you've said it. I mean, yeah. I mean, listen. Who doesn't love the fact of Ryan Giggs <laughs> when he takes his shirt off for that unbelievable <laughs> goal and spinning around his hairy chest around yeah, the yeah. You know, it's just just yeah. a yeah. cheer, yeah, yeah. joy, but unabandoned. You see, uh, the, the farce of that particular law as well, Ian is. Players get cautioned during the course of a game for taking the shirt off. What do they do at the end of the game? No, they take, take the shirts, shirts off and swap them. Yeah, they do. Yeah. That's yeah. a great point. No, yeah, it is. It is. It falls, yeah. <laughs> it's part of the spectacle of the game, but it's also a trade-off by a player who must know that if he does it, he's going to get a yellow yeah. card. So it's yeah. utter stupidity if it's the second one. Yeah. Because well, you know you're well, going to go. I take the point that yeah, I think but, but, Ian's but making. What, you lose yeah. your, your mindset, don't yeah. you? Your Similarly, if you run into the crowd, I know you can lose your head at that moment, but he knows. He's not thinking. Does he not know? Listen, you can take it back right to to your children, and and you you get me, you buy them a present. At Christmas, that, that, that you know, they can go. He, he, they're not thinking about what well, you know what they've done. He, at the same time, he's he's forgotten that he's been booked already yeah. when yeah. he's celebrating yeah, a goal. Course, That's yeah, yeah. my view. Now, I I, I fundamentally I agree that. with what you're saying. <laughs> I think my I, and I really like Mike Dean, mm, by the way, as a, and as a yeah. person, yeah. Um, I get on great yeah. with him. Yeah. I just his his hands hands are tied too often. Mm. Why why is there not enough? Common sense allowed mm. from very, very good referees mm. who get 98% of things right every time, but <laughs> can't, can't, answer, can't answer implement that, the game. To answer that question, uh, Ian, I think that's because, unfortunately, the lawmakers and the law deciders are trying to clinicise a game that thrives on controversy and common sense decisions. Yeah. They're trying to yeah. clinicise everything and, and turn referees into robots so everybody does the same thing every single I game. Mean, football isn't like that. There was no, let me put it to you, there was no <laughs> legitimate escape for Mike Dean None there. whatsoever. I mean, it's been argued and you can see the logic, could have applied some common sense and brought the game well, to a conclusion and, and after the goal. The of the game. But he had time left <laughs> and, and there would have been a, an uproar had he not yeah. kicked off again because people have said, well, where's the time been added? But there's another there? angle to this as well that that we've not talked about. I think also some some say, negativity has come Mike Dean's way because of 
What about the Swansea game? Yeah. Jordan Ayew scores, second yeah. goal for Swansea. What does he do? Straight into the crowd. No, no action taken against him. So everybody goes, well, let's see, there's a common sense referee. No, sorry, there's a referee who hasn't upheld the laws of the game. Yeah. Do you know what's interesting? I mean, it's, it's a bit of a sideline, but it's a great point. There's a record called Perotti, the referee did the Milan Calorie game last night, and I did it. And the, the video review is available. Yeah. He never once went to the video review, and there was a, a couple of controversial moments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, I mean, ref the game absolutely magnificently. Yeah. Book lads for diving, yeah, yeah. penalty, he got it absolutely bang on. Yeah. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I think what well, the, the trouble is, and I've, seen, I've been involved with the Confederations Cup where they've done the video review, yeah. and it took long. And they, I still think maybe one or twice or twice they got it wrong. Mm, I'm yeah. not sure it's going to be that good in, mm. in terms of... I really believe in it. I really right. believe in the whole situation. But yeah. I'm saying he had it last night. He never used it. Mm. He refereed the game magnificently. That's great to hear. It's, mm. a ch it's a sure. another conversation yeah. for another day and it will surely yeah. come. Just to top and tail Bournemouth, Man City and Mike Dean's game. There was another incident there. Well, probably two or three. But Nathan Aki, only a yellow card for tripping uh, Jesus, who was yeah. through on goal. Should have yeah. been red? Yes. Yeah. Easy, right? Okay, Michael Oliver, and this was your, your, this was your yes. your game yeah. uh, on yeah. RefCam, Manchester United two, Leicester nil. Uh, quoting you, uh, the man of the match yeah, was thought, the referee. I thought, Harry McGru I thought Harry Maguire had a great game, but I thought <laughs> uh, the referee right. had an equally good game as well. You uh, described his performance very, as massive, ma yeah, Michael fantastic. Oliver. I thought he, he was. Good. I thought he was, had a fantastic game at the weekend. Not least because there were two handball hand shouts balls. for, for yeah. you know for within Manchester seconds. United. Well, yeah. two, three, four, five seconds of the most of each other. One he turned down correctly. Second one he gave correctly. Fabulous piece of refereeing. Okay. To turn down United, <laughs> a penalty kick at Old Trafford, only to then a few seconds later give one correctly. I'm not saying he gave it because he turned the first one down, not saying that at all. He gave two decisions because they were correct. Okay. Very, very good performance, Michael. Uh, and was rewarded, I suppose, for the bravery of the first one, or well, being correct for the mm. first one. You had a different view of the two assistants yes, at uh, yeah. Old Trafford. And, I, and I'm sorry that well, this has become a bit of a theme for me over the past year and the early part of this season. Whilst the standard of refereeing is thankfully on the way up, mm. I think the standard of lining continues to be on a decline. Do you agree with that, Ian? <coughs> is it something you've noticed? Yeah, I, I, I've seen more and more disparities. I've been on this show before saying I, I've reviewed when I've been managers, they've been yeah. brilliant, the linesmen, they've got it, you know. Mm. I, think this, I think this certainly is they're getting quite badly wrong. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, I, that, you know, and there's nothing worse when there's not a lot of mo movement in the game, mm. is they're the ones you should be getting Absolutely right, I, I think. Right. You know what I mean? Absolutely it's very difficult, very right. that split second yes. one, yes. isn't it? You the know one I mean? where it gets humped from centre half and the, the, the opposing defender is coming out, the centre yeah. forward's going through, it's, it's very difficult. Yeah. But when the player in an offside position is stood still, my word, we should be getting not 99% of those right, we should mm. be getting the whole lot correct. They don't come any easier than that. Okay, still to come, obviously, there's the championship. There's some big uh, calls in that. And some big games, of course, in, in Sunday's action in the Premier League, which we'll talk about. And a referee having to step in very late into yeah. the biggest game yeah. of the weekend. Yeah. But before that, uh, let's uh, maybe have some words you never thought you'd hear oh. uh, Glenn Turner say. Uh, there's a couple of referees who are criticised quite regularly here. Uh, and our panel think for the right reasons. You know, they'll say if it's a good performance and if it's a bad. Lee Mason is the yeah. first name I'll throw at you. Spurs won, Burnley won. Um, I've got written down two words, clean sheet. Yeah. There wasn't a single caution, a no. anything. No. That might not be right, of course, that it, but in this case, yeah. he's come uh, through without. Yeah. Although the next referee that we're going to come to talk about, I'd like, you know, I think there's an even brighter light shining upon him at the moment, because if, if there's an Achilles heel still for Lee, it's his lack of pace. Um, and, and that does give me a real concern. Yeah. At what point are, are we going to call it a daily? Because I'm, I'm sorry, mate, you haven't got that burst. Got not anymore. for me. On last no, season, he, he wasn't good burst. enough. He's was not it? for me. No. no, no, I'm not being rude. No, and I, you oh, know, yeah. I've known Lee twenty years, perhaps. Lovely, lovely lad. This is not personal at all. Mm. Well, but there comes a point where you've just got to say, I can't do this anymore. Not, a, not yeah. the pace this game is. Right. The most <laughs> criticised referee by you. Certainly, for you are the ref, <laughs> uh, has been John Moss. Yep. Okay, so can this... I redress that balance? Yes, please. <laughs> Chelsea two, Everton nil was his game at the Fantastic. weekend. Fantastic, particularly the second Chelsea goal. Mm. What an advantage! 
What an advantage played by John Moss. And I'll take it back even further. Two games back to back. Well done, John Moss. Can I say, it? well done, John Moss. Well, I think it might Fantastic. even be three, actually. Three? I think it's three. Oh, I'm sorry, praised. John Moss, it's three. <laughs> there you are. It's praise from Guy. And that will continue if uh, yes. this referee yeah. continues in that mode. We only call it as we see it, Alan. There's yeah. nothing personal in anything that we say. No, nothing. Indeed not. Glenn, uh, thanks very much. And uh, Ian, uh, do join us for part two of the Ref Show. We've got that uh, big Liverpool-Arsenal game and a big score as well, it uh, turned out to be. West Brom, Stoke, Watford, uh, Brighton in the Championship. Um, Sheffield Wednesday, crikey, they should have been playing against a 10-man Burton, shouldn't they? We'll talk about that incident and one that I saw in Barnsley, Sunderland. Plenty more as well. Join us for all of that.